In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 7, Section 4, Problems 27 and 28. We did 26 in the previous video. That was part 2 of a paired set. So we're going to start with question 27. The world's population has grown at an average rate of 1.9% per year since 1945. There were approximately 4 billion people in the world in 1975. Which of the following functions represents the world's population T in billions of people T years since 1975? 1 billion equals 1 plus 9 zeros. So we're just talking about since 75, and we're given that in 75 the population was 4, and then we're given the growth rate. It's an exponential growth of 1.9. This is just testing your knowledge of, of exponential growth. If you know the formula, this is a very easy question, especially for so late in the section 27 out of 30 on problem solving. And just to review, exponential growth is whatever the principal or the starting amount is, P. And if it's growth, it's 1 plus the rate. And let's say this is an annual rate. This would be T and annual. These units have to be the same. And that's this question is exactly growth. If it were decay, you'd subtract it from 1. We're given in 1975, there were 4 billion. So that's 4. We know that the growth rate is 1.9%, so that's 1 plus, and we've got to convert that into a decimal. 1.9% as a decimal is 0 0.019. So this is going to be 1.019 when we add it together, and it's per year, and we want to know how many years, and it would just be to the T power. That's it. So not a hard question for number 27, just knowing your formula for exponential growth. All right, let's take a look at number 28. In the xy plane above, a point not shown with coordinates st lies on the graph of the linear function. If s and t are positive integers, what's the ratio of t to s? So we have a point that's not shown that is on this line. And we would just want the ratio to the two points. Now, just remember, any point that is on this line will have the same slope. And so if you just find the slope of this line, it's going to be the, the, the same ratio of those points. And so what's the slope of this line? You see how it passes through the origin? Change in y over the change in x, so 6 minus 0 at 6 over 3. We know that the slope is 2, okay? or 2 over 1. And so any other point will always have that ratio. And you know, you could even use this point here because this satisfies the equation. It's on the line. And what is the ratio of, of these two points? It's 2 to 1, right? S, the T to S, the T is the Y, it's 2 to 1. And so not really a hard question for number 28. It's um, 2 to 1 is the, um, the relationship between the two, and the answer is 2.